well now's the we're getting down to this point where we need to do this back wall so and the focal point of this whole back wall is going to be the pass through um, this is not going to be a huge pass through like uh, like say a, a class C uh, it's just a means of getting from inside the cab to the in here uh, so uh, this is the original opening here obviously uh, that the uh, original body had we're going to keep that uh, but what we need to do now is uh, take and cut this you know right right along the same follow our same uh, pattern and uh, take out the back window and uh, we're going to lower this just a little bit to this point here uh, right in here so um, it's this isn't a huge cab anyway so it's not one that you can like stand up and move back into here so having a huge pass uh, through is not really unless I cut into the roof uh, not really an advantage and we're not going to do that so uh, just a simple pass through and uh, we'll get this started and again, we're going to show you the other side of this. Uh, right now, this seat has to come out. Uh, all the mats, all this uh, in the back here, all of this has to come out of here, uh, and so we can so we can cut and uh, and work in here. That's going to be our next step is to is to gut the interior here. Okay, one of our first steps to cutting this back end out. Obviously, we got to take the win window out but is to make a tool here that we can draw a line on where our uh, cut is going to be. So we just took a regular carpenter's pencil and taped it onto a stick and drew our, you know, drew our line and that's where the cut's going to be, is right there. Okay, so I didn't bore you with just the mundane things of taking out the seat and there is a, a back piece in here which we'll have to make a custom made one uh, when we uh, after we get the, the hole cut and uh, get things so that we can put things back together. So next thing is is to take this gasket out or this uh, window out. Uh, easiest way to do it this gasket is very hard it's brittle uh, so we're just going to cut it and take it out if I was to put it the window you know for whatever reason if the window was ever to put back into it which it really can't but uh, I would put a new gasket onto it anyway so uh, there's no sense in trying to even save the old gasket and uh, and stuff so uh, the easiest way to do it is to just cut that out so we'll get with it all right It would be nice if I had another person, <laughs> which I don't. And to try to catch that. <laughs> and I knew it was going to do that.
and get ready to cut this out here. Uh, we're going to use a plasma cutter and uh, I will put a uh, fiberglass welding blanket in here. Okay, so here we go. getting ready we got one piece cut out there and uh, to put back in the where the window was uh, right now my wife is mowing lawn so I probably won't be able to talk a whole lot and all I'm going to do is spot weld that in anyway Well, after messing around here, and uh, I didn't film all of it because it's kind of, we would have made a, a little bit of a boring video, I guess, but we filled in where the window was. This is this area here. We spot welded it. Then I used body caulking, and uh, we caulked it. It looks a little rough now, but we're going to be finishing this uh, off uh, on both sides and, of course, down and around. Uh, so you really won't see this. It's ready now for the, uh, for the accordion uh, gasket, which we're going to be putting in here pretty quick. I'll bring this around here. Uh, those of you who follow me on Facebook um, will know that these have already been cut in. My, my son helped me this morning, and uh, while I was doing other things, he uh, cut out the, the compartments. This is going to be a storage compartment. This is our propane uh, compartment, electrical and batteries. Uh, and uh, our propane is a, is a lay down uh, cylinder. This rack actually is for two. So I've got to cut it in half and make it for just the one uh, 30 pound cylinder. And uh, uh, 30 or 40, I don't know which one will fit in there, but we're going to try. 
see what uh, see what it takes. So uh, then we'll be building the compartments and uh, the floors and all that stuff and uh, and get that. And then there's an eight inch piece of uh, aluminum diamond plate that goes along this after we repair that. And uh, so that'll finish that off. And of course the bottom will be painted white. So let's uh, go and uh, get up in, uh, in the area there and we'll start getting this gasket ready. So we got things going here. Get our knee pad so we can sit down. Um, one of the things that I had to do, I wasn't happy with uh, the way this was, you, know, you can see the, the lighter because there's no gel coat on the back side. Um, that's the reason why it's, it's, it looks thinner. It's actually not. Uh, I lowered this down three and a half inches from where the original cut was up here. The original was a cut out up here, but I didn't want to cut the cab out here because this is the strength of the cab right here. Uh, so to retain uh, the rigidity of the cab, I wanted to keep the, the window uh, channel uh, and so that we did. and. Uh, so now we can lower this down. And the gasket that we have has a maximum of seven inches and a minimum of two. And if I had left it even on an angle, uh, it would have been at its max. So if the body moved any at all, I think they would have put too much stress uh, on, that, on that gasket. So, and I didn't want it tilted. By, by having it tilted, the water would have came down and would have run against this gasket fully, so and which would have might have made a leak. So uh, now, and we added a piece of aluminum down here, or not aluminum, I mean steel, and uh, of course it's all caulked in. And uh, then we'll put a uh, another piece here to fill this gap in here, uh, and. Uh, that, uh, just to finish things off and we'll put a threshold in here uh, just so we don't step on it okay and uh, so now we'll we'll put this gasket in we've never done one this is a whole new process for us and uh, we'll see what happens there's different uh, things that people say about these uh, some people say that they should be installed with silicone, some people say no, some people some other kind of stuff. So it's going to be accessible if we do have a problem with it. Uh, we can add silicone or some other adhesives or, or something later uh, if we have a problem with, uh, with water. So, uh, we'll, but we'll see what happens. Okay, and there again, and this is our gasket. Each uh, one of these lips, uh, these uh, channels go over a lip and uh, gets it uh, fastened that way. Um, and then just up and around like a regular weather stripping. So we'll see what happens here. We start in the middle and the bottom. Gotta make this channel a little bit bigger in the bottom here. I think I can do that with a Here, that make 
them a little bit bigger. And reinforcement to the original body here. Should do that. All right. I guess maybe we're going to start in the middle of the body. Forms in this corn, these corners, really, really good. It's nice and tight. There's steel reinforcements inside of the 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 thing that pinch. And it went around the little little spots here. Like I say, this will get trimmed off and stuff. And uh, gives you know, there's a a give a give and take. You know, as the bodies, the two bodies move independently from each other. Uh, and where it goes together here, we'll get this together nice and tight. And then this will get siliconed. We've got to get some, uh, I don't have it, I've got to get some black silicone uh, down here in this corner or the edge. And uh, maybe overlap the, the actual, this part here. And... Uh, and get that silicone down real well and uh, then we'll we'll put this board across that's going here like I say uh, wherever it is here and uh, put that in there's a little bit of a gap on either end that was on purpose and uh, we'll put that in and that, that'll solidify this this area here and uh, get you going in the right direction here so you can see and uh, so that's our installation of a that's a double wall cab here that's why this is out here like this um, of our pass-through gasket um, it's all it's installed now we'll uh, we'll trim that off like I said and uh, then we've got to finish off inside the cab to make it look good and uh, we have to fiberglass a couple holes here we got a hole there we got a hole there that was inside of the original cab and there was a switch for the light in the back um, and uh, got to insulate and finish this off uh, there's a cabinet that gets built right in here a sink a double sink cabinet that's the hot water heater of course and uh, 
this area right in here. Uh, of course, I got to put a, uh, another panel on the, on the refrigerator. And this is going to be a wardrobe uh, in here. And uh, then uh, there's a, uh, a bunk that comes down out of the wall comes down here and it actually rest on this cabinet and we'll have a support in this area uh, that'll support the other end of the cabinet and uh, so there it is there's our pass-through gasket installation never did one now I can't say that all right everybody have a good night uh, and uh, or good morning whenever you're watching this don't forget to hit that subscribe button that really helps uh, other RVers and and uh, do-it-yourselfers uh, get the message out uh, the way the YouTube algorithms are if you uh, if you give us a thumbs up on YouTube if you're watching this on Facebook or one of the other uh, media platforms uh, go to YouTube and uh, and hit the, the the like button if you like the video and uh, don't forget to subscribe that helps us out and uh, we'll catch you later